Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and thank you for joining me today. We are back on the mage in the Hillsbrad foothills. We're looking for all kinds of stuff, namely mountain lion blood, gray bear tongues, and we're headed over to check out the levels of the farmers to see if they're a little bit lower level than the gnolls we had fought for Elixir of Agony. Because they were a couple levels above us and it made it a little bit challenging to not get killed, basically. Seems like the gamma might be a little bit dark. I think one of you let me know that a couple episodes ago. And I'm not sure if I ever adjusted it. Yeah, that's probably going to look a lot better. I am recording in a different location today, so I have a slightly different setup. So if things sound a little bit weird, that's why. Not that it doesn't sound weird around here normally, because it definitely does. It's just that there might be more background noise than usual. And different kinds, and less soundproofing, if that's possible. So we'll see how it goes. Recent news about Shadowlands, uh, some things that I've heard that I've really liked are about Torghast. Torghast is kind of like a roguelike endless dungeon that you could do either in a group or solo. And I've heard nothing but great things about it from those who have tested it in the alpha. And it looks like it's going to be some really good group content and potential solo content. A progression, progression path to get gear at endgame uh, in Shadowlands. So if you're interested in Shadowlands, check out info about Torghast. A couple of good videos out there. I'm excited to have a solid five-man group to, to run that with because it was compared to the difficulty and decision-making in Cataclysm Heroics when Cataclysm first came out. And five-man Cataclysm Heroics were probably my favorite five-man content uh, in World of Warcraft. And then they quickly nerfed that content and it was no longer enjoyable. And that was the last time anything outside of a mythic five-man was actually enjoyable in any way, to me at least. And classically, I used to love five-man dungeons until uh, until they made those changes to the Kata heroics. We are a little bit low on mana. That's true. Not that we're not that we're not always low. I should have bought some. Water back at the inn, which would have been a, a lot better than what we have, but we are trying to also save gold for that thing called a mount that we never seem to be able to get. So, crossing our fingers for that. Trying to conserve as much money as possible. It's too far away. These bears will basically path right either too close to us or too far from us during the six seconds it takes to shoot a pyroblast. It's just an incredible amount of time to shoot a single spell, honestly. That would be stealing. What? Why would it be stealing? I hope everyone is doing well. Things are not back to normal, obviously, and will probably never resemble the normal that we knew. But I hope you're all hanging in there, finding what solace and comfort you can in these times. Hopefully you've found ways to distract yourself, uh, kind of like what we're doing here. Sometimes it's all you can do to take is to take your mind off of things, and hope that one day the new normal is something that you can live with and live in. Burned to death from the damage over times. This one looks remarkably stationary. Let's go after him. Oh, he's moving. I'm 
I can't loot that. She doesn't seem to want to loot things today that actually belong to us. It's kind of a weird issue with the error speech. If we don't flank it, we'll never get the shot off before, before it outdistances our pyroblast. So we kind of have to be on its side. Even at this rate, it still might outrange us. I think we'll be okay. Seven out of ten, that's not bad. Oh, I see a cat down here. Let's see if he has any mountain lion blood for us. Same thing with him, we're going to have to get on his flank so he doesn't path out of our way. Uh, while being cautious not to pull every other thing out here. We're too close. Let's, let's move in a little bit. Let's pull our camera out so we can get a better view. Out here we're liable to get snuck up on pretty easily. Nothing. I like going after the stationary ones. Oh, and he starts moving. Alright, he's not running off at least. Ah, he's getting way too close for this Pyroblast. And he's chasing after us. Let's let our Mana Shield do some work here, I guess. And we'll just deal with it. That wasn't too bad. Mana Shield for the win. I think we're approaching some human buildings, so I'm hoping that we'll see some farmers pretty soon. Just for a change of pace. Oh, don't outrange us. Thank you for stopping. Good thing we ended that with 666 mana. That makes me feel uneasy. I've, I forgot to skin a couple of bears, haven't I? I know. I know. I realize. I know what I've done. Talk about needing gold and then leaves unskinned bears on the ground to rot. That's very hypocritical. Almost unacceptable. I guess I'm trying to skin it too fast after we've looted it. And the server is apparently incapable of keeping up with my speedy 36 year old clicking abilities. Come on now. Let's get real. Mm, he's gonna outrange us. Alright, let's try here thinking that he'll probably turn back around in a minute. Or not. Oh good, he's circling. Perfect. That actually was better. Uh, 
Oh, somebody didn't loot this guy, so we can't skin it. That's unfortunate. These starving mountain lions don't seem to have a lot of blood. But, you know, even if you were starving, you would like... You would have the same amount of blood as you normally would. So, I don't know. Um, peasants. We don't need peasants, we need farmers. Specifically, farm hands, farmers, farmer Ray, and farmer Getz. So let's kind of take a peek around. Hopefully without fighting too many of these guys. Of course, the named farmers could be in any of these buildings, and I don't remember, I have no idea. Here are the regular generic farmers. Uh, Hillsbred Taylor, it's very specific. Okay, here's just a shit ton of farmers, but there's some peasants that we uh, don't need. Seems like the peasants are just going to kind of come along with the farmers here. Fortified Shield of Strength, well, that's neat, but we can't exactly use it. The peasants kind of patrol, at least that one does. I like how the rest of them seem to be kind of stationary. Uh, I wish he had not ran that way. That was a little bit weird, I'm glad he didn't pull that other guy. I don't really understand that pathing though. So Farmer Ray and Farmer Guts, they probably wouldn't be in the town hall building or the smithy, right? They would be back in the farmhouses. I mean, that's what makes most, the most sense to me. Maybe we head back that way. Maybe we can get this guy before he gets out of range. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got him, but we're gonna pull two, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, let's go ahead and sheep the one. Probably be a good time to evocate up before we break the sheep on this guy. Back up a little bit. And we'll break it with Pyroblast. An old time favorite. Oh. Broke on its own. You're not going anywhere. Not after all that work. Thank you somebody um, uh, for commenting and reminding me about sheep. It is very useful when you're pulling more than one monster, obviously. Sometimes I forget about spells. Alright, let's check out the inside of this house if we could. Can we do that safely? Probably not. Maybe we'll get an angle, a look into the doorway here. Hillsbred farmhand. I'm just surprised that there wouldn't be a named guy in there. Let's clear this guy out right here. He was like running at us, got too damaged, and did like a little sidestep. Oh shit. Oh, how did he not pull? Just absolute pure luck, I guess.
Oh, there he goes. Okay, good. Let's get our mana back. All right. Oh, there's nobody else in there. Maybe back inside of this thing. I, one of the farmers has to be in one of these buildings. I'm just, I'm sticking to that. Part of it is a memory, part of it is a feeling. Part of it is just logically where else would one of the farmers be except on one of the farm buildings. And by farmers, I mean the named ones, Ray and Getz. Alright, going in here with more mana would probably be a great idea. Yeah, see? Oh, not good. This is terrible bad. We're not, we're not prepared for this at all. Uh, so what needs to happen here? Nope. None of it. At least we know where they, they are, right? So, are, are they all in there? Like, for real, we have to pull three? We can't pull three, you know? This just isn't gonna work. Um, I want this guy to piss off. Okay, this is when it gets hard when there's no other players around. It becomes kind of impossible to just organically do some of these quests uh, when they expect you to be able to take on three guys at a time. That's clearly not going to happen. And what's up with this asshole who won't stop chasing us? These are the times when Classic kind of just halts your progress dead. And you don't feel like... Um, you feel like the easiest way is obviously just like if there were help around. And so often, recently, there's not. I think a lot of people are back to playing Shadowlands, getting ready for the expansion. Uh, that's obviously pulled players away from Classic. Yeah, like, if it's a 3-pull, we can't do it, you know? We're, we can't. If it's a 2-pull... Then we probably could and I, I'm thinking that it has to be a three pull because I don't see a third guy out here That could have like came along for the party. They had to all be inside of here um, So that's not gonna happen. I guess right now We're literally gonna need to either be a lot higher level or we're gonna need help And it's not an elite quest and it's not even a difficult quest That's kind of the crappy thing about it that just because it's a three pull, we literally can't do it by ourselves. If we were higher level, we might we might survive it. Um, I'm I'm more worried about our mana running out than I am about our, our tricks. You know, we have sheep, we have mana shield. They weren't affected by Frost Nova, not any of them. That's actually really scary though, because that's one of our big tricks. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Certainly not great. Trying to think of any way we could approach a three pull, and I'm just not thinking it's a good idea. Is this cat gonna also pull the bear? I don't think so. I'm out of range. Pull the one that's lurking back here. Can barely see him, but he's there. When I'm out questing and I'm soloing, I I don't really want to be stopped by the need to find a group. I want that to be optional. 
Uh, I wanted to add to the experience, not be kind of a barrier to entry of the quest I already have. So that's a little bit of a deterrent. If we can get our last bear tongue on the way back, at least we could have a quest to turn in here. That would be that would be great. Just to be able to turn in a quest. Put in some effort, turn in a quest, you know. We're not trying to get a tune for Burning Crusade Heroics. It shouldn't have to take forever, right? We'll see. See what the drop rate stays. Okay, we have 8 out of 10. I'm glad we kind of got out of that area we were in. Mana. Not enough mana. Well, it's kind of our life story. Not enough mana. Not enough mana, not enough gold. Sounds about right, guys. The paths that these creatures walk out here is incredibly annoying and it makes it incredibly impossible to use Pyroblast effectively or really any of our fire spells that have a longer cast time. Now I'm kind of remembering like, oh yeah, that was maybe why I was Frost. Even though I was doing single target, it was just faster cast times. During a six second cast, a bear can literally get away from you very easily. Um, and out here they have these very ponderous long paths that they're set on. So if you're not flanking it, it's going to get out of range of you. Or it's going to walk right into your face by the time the 6 second Pyroblast is. And don't get me wrong, I love Pyroblast, but when you're out questing, it kind of just makes everything slower. Oh look! Two bears! I, I love having to fight two bears. No, wait, I don't at all. Sheep one of them. I guess we're going to have to evocate again. Thank God that that's up. We're probably not going to get a Pyroblast off on this guy before he breaks sheep, so let's just start it on him with Fireball. Shit. Bears everywhere, man. I do not like it. I want it to be done. Okay, conceivably, by the time we get back to Terran Mill, we should be able to get one more bear tongue. I believe in us. Just don't know. Is it going to be you? Let's see. Is he going to outrange our Pyroblast? That's really the only question here. Almost. Oh, that's a huge resist. That's uh, no good. No good. No good. Oh shit, okay, yeah, your mana is actually quite low. That's embarrassing. Here you go, eat some inefficient wanding. Yeah, that probably fucking tickles, doesn't it? We need a better wand, guys. We just realized that, I think. Nothing. All that and nothing. Just the skin. Some light leather. At some point we'll have a quest for these yeti. However, they're level 31, so we are just very lucky they haven't came over here and stomped us into the earth yet.
All right, there we go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and we're going to run it back. Could probably fight some more cats on the way, but we're going to have ample opportunity, I feel like, to fight cats all the time. We'll take this one out. He's kind of right in our way. I'm sure this bear will, like, loop in on us and just maul the hell out of us from right behind. Oh, he resisted a pyro bolt. Pyroblast, which is like the single worst thing that could happen to us as a mage at all, ever. And, and is actually, it's going to cause me, I'm abandoning this combat. I'm out. So, yeah, you resist my extremely expensive Pyroblast. Um, I ha don't have full mana, so I, ha I lose. That's it. I lose. I got to run. So, we're running. There you go. Yes, thank you, Terra Milgard. Do some work, for God's sake. Alright, it feels good. We finally get the turn of the quests. I feel like it's been a while. I'm listening. Uh, which one do we do? Elixir of Suffering. I see you are back. I hope you were able to gather the agents I need. Another deathless day will put me... Such a gloomy mood. Yeah, this guy is not happy. The specimens are perfect. Well, you have managed to bring me the slightest hint of joy on yet another miserable day. Your efforts are appreciated. Alright, uh, and then the follow-up to Elixir of Suffering. It will take but a moment for me to mix these components into what I have deemed an Elixir of Suffering. There we go. Ah, nothing brightens a gloomy day in these miserable foothills like bringing a little suffering into the world. Let us see if our little potion has achieved its desired effect. Give my assistant Umbi a taste of what the Dark Lady has planned for both humans and Scourge alike. Give Umbi the elixir of suffering. Okay, it's just a frog, right? I mean, I feel bad still. I thought it was just going to be a, a person, you know? He exploded in a blood mist. Is that what we wanted, I'm assuming? I'm assuming he assumes that's good, right? He seems happy enough, guys. So, we've done it. We can turn toads into blood mists now. Um, pop goes the toad. <laughs> what a way to end. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I do really appreciate the support, and I appreciate you being here. I hope that you are all well, and staying safe and sane out there. And hopefully we will be back uh, real soon with some more episodes with the mage. Take care. See you again soon.